show of your hand. Okay. This isn't this this is a uh, a common problem. These little ganglion cysts. They're annoying. They're annoying. And you came to me the first time with this and it had already ruptured. Yeah. And there's really not a whole lot to look at, was there? Right. And I said, well, if it comes back, you can come in and I can aspirate it. But there's a good chance if it returns, that means you're probably going to need to see a hand surgeon and have it properly removed. Because these cysts, they go all the way into the joint. Now, does it hurt? Doodlebug? Not really. <laughs> Did I say doodle bug first time? Just doodle bug. Actually, I'm going to need the, the uh, syringe with that needle. I apologize. Yeah. It doesn't really hurt, but it's just... It's there. Yeah. yeah. It's just there. And... It's just there. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to aspirate this for you again because you've asked us to. But i got to tell you, the odds are really strong that this is going to return. Okay. Okay, so I should expect it. You should expect it. It, it. It'll probably, it may be a month or so, but we're going to go ahead and just get your referral to introduce yourself to a hand surgeon, to shake hands with a hand surgeon. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Hopefully the operating hand, right? Shake hands. Yeah. So it's my great. My left hand, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, when when it's time, you'll be able to have it removed, okay? Yeah. So Gumpy Jean is going to spray some ethyl chloride. This is a really cold spray. Oh, okay. You, come, you find a position that works for you, and I'll work around you. And she's going to spray that on there and get it good and cold. Brr, is Ooh, it cold? I guess. All right. And then I'm going to put a little needle in and try to get some fluid out. Okay. Sometimes the fluid comes right out. Sometimes the fluid doesn't come right out. And this time, I think it is coming out a little bit. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm moving the needle around on purpose. Oh, did that hurt? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Not bad. Okay, let me give that to you. Let's give it a little squeeze and see if, yeah. So... It's really thick, and you can look right here and you can see. See how thick that is? I know. That's why it didn't want to come out through that tiny, we just used a 23 gauge needle, but I can squeeze most of it out because we made, okay. you know, uh, a little opening here, right? So we'll just squeeze out the fluid, and this is basically a lot like um, plain jello. <laughs> Yeah, it's very clear. It's very clear. Remember I told you it popped out on the yeah. in my car. Yeah. So this is a uh, this is the same fluid as synovial fluid. It's just very thick because it's uh, had a chance for the body to absorb some of the fluid. Okay. Well, now you have a dimple, right? Mm -hmm. And so we'll put a bandage around that, and that'll okay. soften out and kind of even up a little bit. Okay. But like I said, the odds are pretty good that this will go ahead and return. So go ahead and see the, the hand surgeon so they can plan on taking you to the operating room and fixing this. Because it's no fun, right? Well, it's annoying. Yeah. Do you do any kind of special work with your hands? Do you do knitting mm. or glass cutting or... No. Things like that. You don't do any kind of special... I read a lot. I do mm -hmm. a lot of uh, puzzles, mm -hmm. like in the evening. Yeah. But you're not doing some kind of work where you'd be putting extra pressure on your fingertips and things like that. I don't think so, huh? Okay. So this is just something that, that you've got. Do you so, cook a lot? Pardon me? Do you cook a lot? Yeah. Maybe you need to stop cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell my husband that. Yeah. So it's going to bruise a little bit, right? You see that? You can yeah. already tell it'll bruise a little yeah. bit, but that's not dangerous. See, it's already got a little bit of Ooh, yeah. in there. So Gumby Jean will kind of put a tight dressing on and that keep that to keep it from swelling up. Okay. okay? Well, yeah. thanks for letting us video. I guess I should have asked you. You're okay if we video for our friends on YouTube? Oh, yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, you. Doodlebug. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Gilmore. You're welcome. All right. Let's make a little incision here. The key is do not squirt me. Do not squirt car. Feel any pain? Mm-mm. Good. I'm already starting to see cyst in here. It hurt? Mm-mm. Okay. If you feel pain, you're gonna let me know, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is not 
Wow, that's that's, sedacious that's cyst. See that's that? clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a it's clear. It's been clear too. It's a clear fluid. So this is uh, not a sebaceous cyst. This is either a ganglion cyst. Or, did that hurt? No. Yeah. Nose. The other fellow called it a fat pocket. I don't know if that registers with you. But... Yeah. No. Is that the sack? Yeah, you got you just got a little sack in there. This could be a glomus tumor as well. They did a biopsy and nothing yeah. came back like weird. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely not a cancer. Mm -hmm. So, but it's annoying that it keeps returning. So all that gelatinous or material is very interesting. Um, I, I would I would say it might be a ganglion cyst. Why did they come back? Well, a ganglion cyst will unless it's completely removed. That's just the nature of that kind of cyst. So even though if you remove it today, it might come back again? Right, unless I get it all out. Which you will. Which we're going to really do our best to do. You feeling any pain? No. Did they let you watch it last time? No. <laughs> Are you kind of glad they didn't? Are you, no, you're not feeling squeamish or anything? No. Okay. So all I'm doing is just dissecting it loose from you know the tissue around and then mm -hmm. we'll hopefully we'll be able to pull it all out. It is right I don't there. know if it looks better live or on the camera. You know, it's better on the camera. You think so? Because <laughs> it looks closer. Hopefully one day I get to do one of these. You think so? Yeah. Let's, we'll see. It's alive. See, that's, that's sac tissue right there. Mm -hmm. See that? Sack, I'm telling you. Yeah, <laughs> that sack material right there. It seemed like there was like a little vein that fed into it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's yeah. alive. That sack material right there. Some jello. Uh, nothing. I'm just gonna put a little stitch in here. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> We've been wondering that for a little while, Gonzo. Well, but we like you. We're just not sure what your diagnosis might be. So we're just going to keep you around till we figure that out. This type of stitch, do I have to get it removed or is it? Yeah. Okay. Come in and get that with you. Yeah, you came on the right day. You were originally scheduled for one of our other... Mm -hmm. And that was today. I scheduled that <laughs> at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And we just weren't that busy. I might just go play the lottery with all, that, all this luck. Yeah. Might as well, right? Mm -hmm. You can just shovel up, right? Mm-hmm. I said he's going to shovel up, right? All right. Mm -hmm. You got some tough skin, sir. Right. Year after year. Right. There we go. I think we're A-OK -okay on some stitches there. And move your fingers a little bit. Everything seems to be working. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to leave these stitches in for a week. Okay. And then you can come back in and we'll take them out, okay? All right. You did great. Petra. Petra, how are you this morning? Pretty good. Now, yes. do you mind if we video your procedure for YouTube and the internet? I do not mind. You, Go you ahead. Don't mind. Thank you so much. You have a bump on your wrist. How long yes. have you had this? Um, since March. Around March, it started growing. So about, what is that, nine months ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. And does it hurt? No, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. All right. Has it ever drained or popped or anything like that? Nope. Okay. You don't have to watch. I know you're a little no, bit nervous. So what we're going to do, this is a ganglion cyst. We're going to give you a little numbing first, and oh, then we're going to see if we can aspirate this. So, 
you're a little nervous. So look over there. We got Gumby and Gonzo helping out. Gumby's going to do the cold spray. Have a little Gonzo's cold, doing spray. The cold spray. Gonzo's doing the cold spray right there for me, please, ma'am. Perfect. You're going to feel a little stick. And a sting. And a burn. You okay? Yeah. Are you ready for Christmas? Yes, I am. Did you bring us a gift? No, I didn't. I don't see how you can be ready for Christmas. <laughs> Doesn't sound she like lied. she's ready. <laughs> Gumby. We've got a little one. Watch out. Don't stick yourself. There we go. Thank you. So you've done most of your shopping? Um, I actually need gifts for the teachers. There you go. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. We're going to see if we can aspirate this dude. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to see. All right. Here we go. Little stick. Shouldn't feel anything because we numbed it for you. Come on, dude. Come out. Ooh. It's coming out. Can you see that? Yes. Can you see it on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I see it in the camera. That's how I saw it. Ah. That's how I saw it. Cool. So it looks like really thick syrup coming out it of there. It is. Sometimes we do these if they're if they're older than about a year or even mm -hmm. as old as this is. The uh, fluid does not want to come out. It's still kind of coming out just a little. Are you looking? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So we have taken care of this and we have gotten that My much hand is out. <laughs> Hurt mine. <laughs> I mean hers, yes. Hers? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> this is a lot can... smaller now. Yeah. Yes. We're going to put a Band-Aid on that, and hopefully this won't come back. Now, remember what we talked about. <clears throat> ganglion cysts sometimes do recur. Okay. If they do, we can aspirate again if need be. Okay. All right, and if it returns after that, then we would say, okay, we need to, <clears throat> we probably need to, you know, see a surgeon, see a hand surgeon and have that removed. But right now, that looks real good. Did it hurt much? Not really. Not it's really. Like a little pinch. Little sting. Little mm -hmm. sting here. Tetra, you're awesome. Thanks for letting us record Thank your. I'm trying to see if I can show it in the camera, see if you can but see. It, yeah, yeah, but it's not. Let's, it let's put it down here. Yeah, you really you have to be at just the right angle. Right there, you can see it and there. See how much came out of yeah. there. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna hand off to Gumby. Gumby, you're gonna <laughs> drop in the sharps container. We're gonna put a bandaid on Petra, and just take it easy today. Okay. All right. And uh, you should do just fine. You don't have to do anything else for this. Just keep a Band-Aid on it for a couple of days, and then you should be able to get right back to your Christmas arrangements, getting that tree done, bringing, a, getting this present. bringing, yeah. a, gift in, bringing a gift in for us. Yeah, we're waiting for ours. Okay. Petra, you're awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com available and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's seven piece kit available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne and I take Dr. G's Meta 7. This right here? I've been taking it since, yeah. um, well, for one month, actually. Okay. And? and I really enjoy it because uh, it activates my life, just like it says. I have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes, a lot and more you're energy. taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay, and now we have lost some weight, but we're not gonna attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we use, no. we use something else to help. But the good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of... Energy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. And I like to swim, and so it's great because I can swim extra long because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>